The Nike Zoom X Dragonfly, let's talk about it. So this is one of the newest Nike spikes that has come on the market and it is pretty hard to find in stock right now and for good reason. This track spike is something we have not seen before and is honestly quite impressive. It's like we have taken a Nike Next Percent and a Victory and kind of put them together and made this Nike Zoom X Dragonfly shoe. So let's talk about the shoe. It has the Zoom X cushioning that you're going to find in all of the Nike racing shoes right now. The Zoom X cushioning in this shoe is very lightweight but also very responsive. Responsive. The shoe also has a carbon fiber plate in it, which you are seeing in basically every racing shoe nowadays. And with the carbon fiber plate, I'm going to try not to cut myself because I have put the spikes in this shoe. But I'm, you're not seeing a lot of bend here. There's definitely a very stiff carbon fiber plate in this shoe, which helps with kind of energy return and all of that great stuff. Sizing for this shoe, I went with a men's size 8.5, which is what I wear for the old Nike Victories, um, what I wear for Nike pegs, what I wear um, for the Zoom flies. So basically any Nike shoe, whatever size you wear in that, is what I would look for in this spike. Sizing wise, in a men's size 9, the shoe comes in at 4.7 ounces, and to kind of compare that, the old Nike Victory 3s come in at 4 ounces even in a men's size 9. So with adding all these new features, you're going to add a little bit of weight. So I have worn this shoe a little bit and have some opinions about it, and when I say a little bit, I definitely mean a little bit. I've ran probably a half mile in this shoe. I put it on after my easy runs and do some strides on the track to get my legs turning a little bit and man is this shoe something impressive. So as you may or may not know I was at an Adidas school last year so I was wearing Adidas spikes and now I'm at a Nike school so I'm allowed to wear these beautiful spikes and in high school I wore Nike spikes throughout my career and this is definitely something totally different than what I wore in high school. Usually when you're putting a spike on especially the old Nike uh, victories it's very, very, very minimal. There's not a whole lot to the shoe, but with this shoe, you're still getting a good amount of cushioning in it. The Zoom X cushioning, you can definitely tell it is there. It doesn't feel like there's nothing on your foot. Um, although it is very lightweight, you can definitely feel the cushioning underneath your foot, and I think that helps a lot with protection. And on top of that, it's still very responsive. You can definitely tell that the carbon fiber plate is there as well. When I was doing my strides and getting my stride turning a little bit, picking up my legs, running a little bit faster, you can definitely feel the responsiveness of the cushioning and the carbon fiber plate. This shoe is marketed as a 1500 meter shoe all the way up to a 10,000 meter shoe and I think this is going to be the shoe I'm going to be wearing for the 5k 3k indoor this year as well as the 5k 10k outdoor. Overall this spike is super impressive. The upper is very lightweight, the insole is sewn in so you're not going to have to worry about that slipping around when you're racing and especially for me I don't wear socks when I race so that is very nice to see that that's not going to be moving around on me. I'm not going to have a lot of issues there. The zoom Max is super soft, cushiony, as well as responsive and lightweight. The carbon fiber plate, very stiff as you can tell. You're going to get a lot of push off with this shoe. I'm now happy to say that there is a spike on the market that I can throw on for a 5k, 10k and be confident in it. The old Nike victories were a little too minimal for me, especially being on the track running in them for 30 plus minutes in the 10k. I was quite nervous, um, but now this shoe... I, I can't stress this enough, you really feel something under your foot, which is really nice to feel. When you put on, you know, the next percents, the alpha flies, you feel like you're running on a cloud. And you still feel this in the Nike Dragonflies. You feel that cushiony but responsive. It's very, very smooth. I love the shoe. Definitely will update you guys once I start running some races in these. My races start at the start of January, so I'd be interested to see how these hold up in competition, but I am very happy with this shoe and very pleased. On top of the Dragonflies, you may have seen them in the background. I happen to get a pair of these as well, the Nike Air Zoom Victories. I think I'm going to make a video on those as well. I have not ran in those yet. And then maybe a little comparison, maybe you guys would want to see that. Let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see that video because it's something I'm definitely interested in. But yeah, that is basically it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.